Hey there, I think I've got enough to uh, um, in my bag of tricks to show you just a little bit more before we head back into the appendix um, of the basic features of the calculator. So let me move this up. Get on up there. Okay, a couple more things. Um, in the math menu, let me press math. Um, we saw the fraction one. The decimal one, honestly, you're never going to use. Um, we just saw the cubing and the cube root and the x uh, root, which I didn't really show you the cubing, but if you want to see it, um, you would just pick that. Um, let me show you something else. Let me type a number. Let's say like, well, here, let me show you the cubing. Five, math, cube, enter. There you go. All right, now let's suppose I have... I want have a number I want to take the absolute value of because sometimes we work with absolute value. So if you go to math menu and you move now this is a way to learn the menu system. Um, what happens here? See this math? This is the math menu right here. If I move to the right, I'll be in the number menu. Right? If I move to the right, I'll be in the complex rent menu, which you wouldn't really use in a basic algebra class. And then you move to the right, and that's the probability menu, which again you wouldn't use in in a basic algebra class. And I can go right again. Um, back to math, go right again, back to number. All right, now this one is something you might use, um, ABS, absolute value. So if I take that absolute value of negative 5, enter, it's 5. See? All right, cool. So that's absolute value. That's a good one to know. Um, a couple more things. Um, if I do second enter, just bring that back for a second. Suppose I go, oops, no, I wanted 25. Okay. Now I know that you guys know about the insert thing because I already showed you, but let me do it again. Second, INS, put a 2 in there, groovy. And then you're like, oh, whoops, no, I didn't mean it to be 25, I meant it to be 5. If you have your cursor blinking on like the 2, you can press DEL and it just deletes that one number. Right? Cool. And if you bring it back again, Right? If you press clear, that clears out the whole line. Okay? So DEL delete is for like deleting a single number, a single value, a single space, if you will, um, that the cursor is blinking on. Clear is like for clearing out the whole line or the whole thing altogether. A couple more things. Um, there's E, E, and E, <laughs> so I want to show you the difference. There's an E above your division symbol. Let me do that this guy right here, E. Um, that's Euler's number. It's 2.71828. You use it for compound interest problems, um, exponential growth problems. You'll use it in the logarithm chapter, actually section 5, 6, so when you get there. It is the same as this guy, right? See above the LN button? Right, LN is natural log, so that's right there. That's a logarithm, which you'll run into in section 5, 6 of, of the Lehman book. But right above it, second E, see? e to the, if I type 1, cool, it's the same thing. right? This e above the division bar, and it's being division button, and this e above the ln button are the same thing, exact same thing. Okay, But they're not the same thing as what's above the comma or what's above the sign. Above the sign is actually an alphabet, e, capital letter e. Okay? It doesn't mean anything, it's just, it's just a letter. Okay, Above the comma is something else altogether. So let me show you that. If I type 1.234 second double E 2. Okay, I'm going to press entry so you can see. This is the calculator's way of writing scientific notation. Okay, in, wait, let me pause for a second. I'll, show, I'll be right back. Poof, like magic, I know. Okay, so it's the same as saying 1.234 times 10 to the third. That is the way you're used to seeing it. Calculators can't handle this whole x10 with the power thing because calculators like to write everything in a single line. I mean, look how they're doing powers up here for the love of goodness. So because when that happened, when they started making calculators in the 60s and 70s, what they decided to do was come up with a different notation for this over here. So that what they do is write 1.234 capital letter E, oopsie, capital letter E, sorry, I hope you can't hear that, <laughs> 3, right? That's the same thing. Oops, sorry, I meant three instead of here. Okay, instead of two. It's the same idea, okay? This should have been a two. All right, so that's scientific notation. It's above the comma.